Hey, what's going on, everybody? I hope you're having a really good day. I've had a really long day. I'm just going to say I don't have much of a filter right now. I have a pretty good filter sometimes in the morning, but later in the evening, my filter kind of leaves. That's why I do my a lot of my videos around 6, 6.30 in the morning. But I'm just going to let this one go. I just entitled this one, Shh, I'm Listening. You know what's crazy? Over the past probably two weeks, I've had so many um, of you guys message me uh, email me and, and I love praying for you guys, you know, our YouTube family. And we have a lot of people in our network and just different people that I run with in ministry and then our health coaching business and just everywhere have been messaging me. And this is something, a central theme that I've noticed. Man, I tell you what, man, everybody at work, it, man, I tell you, my family, they've been like, man, everybody on social media been, the news is just like, I'm like, shh quiet. Get you some of these. Get you some big, a big old headset something. Block that out. 2 Corinthians 3.17 says, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. A lot of translations say where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. What I want to tell you is right now, you determine what you listen to. In Isaiah, it says, there is strength given to those people who win the battle of the gates. What are the gates? The eye gates and the ear gates. Recently, um, when I talk to different people and they go off into a rant or negative, I just say, well, stop. Hey, listen, I love you. I'll pray for you. I, I, I don't want to talk about that. I don't have the capacity, the mind space for that. There's a lot of times that people call me and they're in a bad mood. And people that I love and, you know, I, I minister to them, I listen to them. But when people are just wanting to air out their dirty laundry, I don't have time to wash your dirty laundry, okay? I'm in a good place in my life and I guard my life. I guard myself. You need to learn to guard yourself. I recently, somebody that we're pretty close with, our family, they, they just said, you know, I'm just so tired and worn out. <sighs> my parents are acting, and this person's, you know, in their 40s. My parents are acting, my siblings, my, and they started to my, everybody said, whoa, whoa, why do you keep putting yourself around all these people all the time? If everybody's toxic, you gotta, you're not. You gotta get out. A lot of times people say, man, pray for me that, uh, that I hear from the Lord. And I'm like, well, to hear from the Lord, you need to silence the world around you. Do you know what the word says? It says that he whispers the secrets of heaven to his friends. If he's whispering the kingdom, pfft, you better bet I want to find a silent spot. That's what Matthew 6 and 6 is all about. But when you go into your secret place, your place of prayer, shut the door and listen to your father who speaks in the secret, who rewards you openly. That's why Jesus said, you know, what Mark 135 is about. Jesus got up early in the morning, went to a solitary place where he prayed. That's why Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane got away from everybody so he could hear. You have to learn. Listen, the world is not going to get quiet. It is loud. It is noisy. There is more division in America right now over all types of stuff. All types of stuff. If you want silence, you've got to fight for it and you've got to make it happen. I remember one time my wife said, hey, um, we, we need some answers from the Lord moving forward in, in businesses and ministries and about seven different areas of our life we need a word. So it's really cool what, what she did. Her and my administrator went and got me seven tablets and they gave them to me and they booked me a little cabin for three days and got me two cases of water, got me some coffee. And I remember where I stayed, there were two restaurants, um, just a diner and then a Mexican joint. And they're about two miles from my cabin. I left every day by myself, had lunch, came back, but for three days, I just sought the Lord. It was quiet. It was silent. And I wrote a whole lot on all seven of those. If you don't have freedom, if you don't have liberty, you've got to find a place. 
that you can have silence. Now, I tell you what I do sometimes. Like if I'm going to Walmart, um, if I'm going somewhere and I, I'm in a hurry, or I, you know, there's a lot of times that I'm like having you know, a good conversation with the Lord driving down the road. I, I put these in. And, and I walk into Walmart, I might not be playing nothing. I'll just be at that point that I'm still like communicating with the Lord. And so there's times, like this is what I do every morning. I have a, a quiet time at our house by myself with the Lord. And then when I come to church, like there's uh, a lot of days, like four days a week, I get to the church by 6, 6.15. I spend another hour, hour and a half with the Lord. I put my headset in. I put my, my slow worship on. I get before the Lord. And I strengthen myself. I don't answer calls. Actually, my cell phone is on complete silent 100% of the time. There's no ringtone. There's no vibration. There's nothing. Oh my gosh, I just freed some of you. My family knows that. Now, I will check my phone. Um, if I'm working at my desk, I have my phone to the side. And if I see it light up, if it is my lady or one of my kids, I'll answer it. Besides that, if I'm in the middle of something, I don't answer it. My time with God and my silence, my silence in my life. You know, I, I remember when I was younger, I'd be working on something. I had my phone on, it would ring. I didn't, anybody want to call me, call me. And, and I'd be like, hey man, what's up? And like, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe what my pastor did. I said, whoa, you're putting all this stuff in my environment, my ecosystem, my geographical location. So I block my time out to talk to people in ministry, to talk to people in our health coaching. I block this time out for different people because I have to be the best version of me. A lot of times if I had a, a, a long day, did a lot of counseling or something, and I just kind of had a lot, before I go home to my wife and kids, I'll spend time with God. I'll silence everything. You know, that's why I never, ever, ever listen to the radio. Do you know what the radio is? It is a DJ picking what you listen to. That's why I don't watch TV. That's what I love about um, like YouTube and different things. You pick what you want to watch. I choose what I listen to, okay? I hope, hope you're understanding what I'm trying to say to you. Sometimes you just got to be like, shh, stop. Now, it, it's funny. I'm talkative. Like, real talkative. Like, when I wake up in the morning, I'm like this. Ding, just wide open, full throttle. Zero to 90 in like point oh oh seconds. And in the mornings, my wife, she kind of likes to wake up a little slower and drink her coffee, which I do bring her when I'm home early in the morning. And I start talking, she'd be like, shh. <laughs> and, and so... <laughs> That's how it is a lot of times in life. You've got to learn how to protect yourself. And you don't need to be somebody that everybody dumps on because that will mess with your life. Okay? Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom and there's liberty. The reason a lot of people don't have freedom and liberty in their life is because they just let noise and they just let junk in. I hope you're getting it. I'm doing a whole message on, uh, I'm working on it right now by the Holy Spirit. And I got way too much content because I've been reading and studying and uh, I learned how to meditate on the Holy Spirit. When you learn how to meditate on the Holy Spirit, Philippians 4 and 8, think upon the things that are noble, that are just, that are praiseworthy, that are of a good report. Meditate. What does meditate mean? It means world. Shh. I'm going to focus on these things with the Lord. When you learn to do that, you will find a peace that only God can bring, an understanding. And in those moments when the world is silent, the Holy Spirit is speaking, you will receive revelation knowledge that will radically change your life. Hope that helped you. Hope that made sense. The older I get, the older I get, the wiser I get, the less people that have access to my day-to-day -day life. You're going to have to do that at points in your life. I remember, I, I've told numerous pastors, you're killing yourself in your ministry 
because you make yourself available to everybody all the time. Oh, well, bless the Lord. That's what I must do as a pastor. Every one of those men, I've told that over the last 15 years, are 100% broke and out of ministry. I ain't going broke, and I'm not getting out of ministry. And I'm not Superman. You're not Superman, and you're not Superwoman. We're flesh and blood being led by the Spirit. You got to learn how to silence your surrounding. You're tracking with me? Love you guys. If you will implement this in your life, it will help you greatly. Love you guys. Learn how to silence things around you that do not bring value to you. Now, when God puts people in your life, you got to be there and listen. But not everybody deserves your time. Nowhere in the Bible does it say you have to give everybody your time. God will send people into your life, and so will the devil. Y'all tracking with me? If you're not, get on course. That's good stuff. Hey, love you guys. I hope this video helped.